Hi scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott. My blog is called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking and I make real-time videos here on YouTube. And today we're going to be making this page which involves three tags and three photos and lots of embellishments. And I'm going to show you how I have stored my embellishments in this like handy dandy little embellishment holder which is just making my scrapbooking life a whole lot easier. Um, and anyways, this page is based on a page from Coco Daisy by Denise. It's called Be Awesome. And it's, so you can either find the original page over at Coco Daisy, or you can find it on my Pinterest board called Scrap Liftable. And then you can just click through to Coco Daisy so you can get the big version of the, of the page. Or you can just screen capture this. And if I ever make any, any blog, any uh, blog um, entries, you can see it over on my blog. I, I mean to do that. I need to do that. It's been a little while since I've done it. But I had fun with this one. Um, with all these embellishments that I don't often use. I even used the little date stamper thing. That was fun. What I didn't do was a lot of journaling, um, but I plan to make several pages about this one trip that my daughter and I did that where we rode ponies, gypsy ponies, in the water. And today, while I'm filming, filming this, it's actually the day that Misty of Chincoteague did the swim, or the ponies that are descended from her did the swim um, up in Chincoteague. They go from like Assateague Island to Chincoteague, and I'm probably mispronouncing those, but anyways, I was a horse crazy girl, and so this was a great mother-daughter date that we did, and I just want to scrapbook it a million times. So this is <laughs> the first page about it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and go get your stuff, and we'll st start scrapbooking. I, I usually will show you the finished product at the beginning just so that you can see where we're going with this but when I start up the video and I start recording um, usually I don't have you know I don't have it all planned out <laughs> I may have a couple of things planned out but not the whole entire thing so today I just started with that basic setup for the sketch okay get your stuff let's start scrapbooking hi scrapbookers so I'm here today with photos from this amazing trip that my daughter and I did. Um, well, it wasn't a trip because it was in our own hometown. It was a staycation, but I have a lot of kind of less than stellar photos. I mean, they're amazing. They capture amazing things, but the quality of the photos is not that great. And also, um, these are photos that I think I can easily crop. And so... It was just the, we rode these gypsy ponies in the water and it was amazing. So I want to start scrapbooking the, these. I'm sure that I'm going to scrapbook them over and over and over again, but let's, I just want to get started. So I set up a board on Pinterest called Scrap Liftable. So if you look on my Pinterest account, you'll see um, a layout that's in the Coco Daisy Gallery. Um, I think the artist is, or the design team member is Denise, and I think it's Denise M. And the the title of the page is called Be Awesome, and it's got three photos at the bottom of the page. So cropped down, we'll just use these for our example, three photos at the bottom, and then above them, are three tags and in this set of um, things that I have from the scrapbooking yard sale that I went to I have so many of these tags so I was like well that's gonna be a perfect thing to do and then on the tags there are just a million like paper embellishments like just clustered on each one and I really liked that look there's also the title goes across the middle of the page. And so she started with um, a, and I haven't really picked anything out much yet, 
But I thought maybe I should do that to speed things up, but I prob I don't. I'm not going to. So <laughs> anyways, I did pick out this one piece of paper. So I was looking for a lighter colored piece of paper and then I came across this darker piece and I thought that might make those photos stand out better than on a white piece. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to use the darker background. Um, I also have a Pinterest. I also have a Pinterest. My son tells me I need to enunciate more. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the thing. My dad always, always used to say that to me too. But um, I also have a Pinterest board called Dark Backgrounds. And I think that's a fun way to do a page. So let's just get started. The first thing I want to do, or I should do, or you should do, is we should select three tags. So if you remember, or if you've been watching the video, I have this, um, I got it at Ikea, this kind of divider -y thing that, um, do you like that technical term? Where I have all of my different, um, you know, embellishments. And then I also created this other thing recently where my smaller my smaller paper embellishments are going to go into this notebook. So on top of the tags, I'll be going into this notebook to get the embellishments that we're going to load onto the top of it. So let's just start with the three start with picking three tags. So I put most of the tags right over here. And I just want to show you this because I, I will be probably gathering other things from this um, from this little bin that I keep on top of a, a Rascog cart from Ikea. There's a whole video about um, what's in this kit it's a huge kit that I got for $30 um, at a scrapbooking yard sale. And then there's another video, I think, that shows you how I've kind of, um, how I've embellished everything. I think there is anyways. <laughs> okay. So what do we want to do, too, on this is not, I don't want too much going on in terms of, the actual um, tag, unless I'm going to not follow it completely, which I kind of do want to follow it, but then again, I don't, but I do. <laughs> but, um, so she hasn't really journaled on any one of them. I kind of think that that would be a great idea, but let me just see how, how I feel here. So right now I'm just picking three. Three tags. Okay, I think I like this arrangement of tags um, because each of them have a lot of space with the neutral, with that pop of red. And they're gonna show up well against the background. Um, so I think that's what I wanna do there. Next step is let's cut down the photos. And what I want to do is she's actually double matted the photos under each tag. So the tags measure three across. So this is three, three, and three. So my little crops should be less than that so I can map them up. And then there's gonna be this strip here. So I think they can still be four high, but they can't be, let's see, that's a possible. See, that's another possible. 
And then I almost want to get one of us just riding the horses. Let's see. And that's kind of good. Not all of these photos are created equally. <laughs> They're, um, they really, she had this little like clicker camera thing where she was just kind of clicking. Oh, I like that one. So that could be, although the way I edited these, I almost think they have, um, can you see this? I don't feel like, I feel like my light is better. Hold on. But also not as good. I don't know. Can you see all that? How's the light? I tried to add more light, but I'm not sure it really helped. Anyways, I like this one. Or this, okay, so this, this. And some people are, some people will say about my videos, why do you, you know, they're so long and I do them in real time, so I feel like the reason I think that's important is so you can kind of see the whole process of how long it takes. Not that you need to see every single thing that I do, but so that, well, one reason is I don't like to edit. <laughs> that's just being honest. Um, that's not my favorite part of making these videos. But then the other part is that I feel like when I watch scrapbooking video, scrapbooking process videos, and they, you know, are 15 minutes long, I appreciate that because you can see what, you know, what's, what to do, like fairly quickly if you want to make that same exact layout. But say you don't really want to make that same layout, like in this case you might not want to make the same layout. You might just want to listen to somebody ramble on like they were your scrap buddy at a crop. And that's what I am for you. <laughs> And for me, I, I like to, I, I kind of enjoy the whole talking process. Um, but that's why I make the videos in real time. Also, I apologize about this noise. I never really thought about the noise from my, um, the cutter. But when we did, oh, we do these live crops at Get It Scrapped. And... I did the cutting and then someone said, oh, you got your cutter right near your microphone. And I was like, oh yeah. And then I thought, oh, I wonder um, if that bugs people during the, the video. So if it does, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do about it to fix that problem. But if it is a deal, you know, you feel like, not such a great deal. Um, let me know nicely in the comments. <laughs> I heard something recently. I think I was listening to Freakonomics. It's a podcast. And the guy was like, oh, we'll go to my, you know, whatever thing and on iTunes and leave a comment. Or leave a nice rating. Or a bad one if you're that kind of person. But... <laughs> So, I love your comments. Um, I hope that it, you don't leave a negative comment, but if you feel the need to. If you're that kind of person, like you said, <laughs> go ahead. Um, no, but I, do, I, I don't mind some constructive criticism. So, if it is a problem, let me know. But try to do it in a nice way so I don't cry. I'm just kidding. I probably will cry. Um, okay, let's see what's in this box. This is not from the scrapbooking yard sale, but this is, okay, so this is something that happens, and this is the other reason I like to make my videos in real time, so you can kind of see real life problems. This is a box that's really old, and so what I do with 
like little scraps or whatever is a lot of times I'll put them aside and this is one where you know what I should definitely oh there's a horse there I don't think I actually need that for this layout but um, that's kind of cool anyways um, I should go through this box and kind of purge what is no longer on my radar and use what you know anyways this, this happens this is a purgeable moment but that's a that's something I could definitely keep so I'll just put that in my yeah I gotta I've been on a purging binge, binge this summer but I definitely have not you know, there's <laughs> there's miles to go before I sleep. Okay, let's get these matted up. So what I think I want to do is mat of just plain old white and then some kind of a, even a script kind of a thing. And so I'm just looking for my papers, which are right next to me. Sorry, I guess you can't see them. I have a bunch of papers that are from also from Teresa Collins, but that got crinkled. So I'm therefore not like super worried about how they look. Get some polka dots. Okay, I like the polka dots. I like the script. And then we'll use the back too. So that'll be the second part of those double mats. But then I just need some white. It always seems like I am low on white paper. So sometimes what I do, just show you my other little trick here, is remember these that I was just like, oh, I'm never going to use a lot of these. So these are already, like, I don't think I'm going to use these papers. Let's just take three of them, and they're actually the same, and they've got a little bit of a grid to them, but I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to use the white side of that paper. So it's not really double-sided paper until I use the white side for the mat, and then it becomes double-sided paper. The grid is going to be so not even recognizable. So I like to adhere first and then cut. And I'm cutting it on my guillotine cutter, which yes, it makes a lot of noise. Sorry about that. Right, this is almost like two like these are going to be wider than these, except that what's going to happen up here is that hopefully there'll be enough stuff going off of those tags that they'll look wider than they do right now. Because I could crop these down a little bit more, but this picture would actually be kind of hard to crop too much further. So when I saw that little camera gadget, I was like, oh, I want to get one of those. And I'm kind of glad I didn't just, you know, get into Amazon and like purchase it immediately because I'm not all that thrilled with the quality of the photos. And granted, you know, we were, she was in the water on a horse herself while she was taking these pictures. So, you know, the photographing, <laughs> the, what do you call it? Like, taking the photos wasn't the easiest, you know. Okay, now I'm just going to carry these right onto 
these sheets. And I don't want a huge photo mat, just a little one. I place that though. There we go. I'm gonna cut this off the top just a little bit. Oh, you know what I want to do instead? I'm just gonna do this upside down. Cause this just the way this looks, this looks like a and I want the heavier part at the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty minor. It's a pretty minor detail, but one worth noting. Okay, this will go over here. So today was the day that Misty of Chincoteague and all the ponies did their swim. My sister linked it to me on Facebook. I was like, oh, I can't believe it's today. That's so cool. So Misty of Chincoteague is the story of these wild ponies. And is it, I think it's Virginia. I don't know, it's really near Washington, D.C. And I did go there when I was young, and I was obsessed with horses. But um, we, I never saw the pony swim. But we did go to, like, the place where Misty's granddaughter, or whatever it was, was. That was pretty thrilling for me. Um, my daughter liked all this, but she wasn't... She's like, I'm not really obsessed with ponies like you are, Mom. <laughs> but there were a couple other girls her, that were her age there, and they seemed pretty thrilled with it. So I think we're just going through a sort of a teenage angst period <laughs> with my daughter. Where if I like it, she's going to not like it, you know. That's so fun. It's not fun. <laughs> but it's I think it's just a stage let's just call it a stage yeah but anyways I we uh, my husband did some things with her this summer and so I planned some things that were just her and I not my son and so she got some special time and I'm planning on doing special time with my son once school starts up because I I'm homeschooling him but not her, so that's kind of where the disparity is. Okay, so the bottom here, I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere these photos to the bottom because they're not moving. They're gonna stay right there. So somebody was telling me about ATG, ATG guns and how wonderful they were. And I have always thought they looked pretty bulky. And then the part that kind of made me want to look into it was, and I think this was also during the live crop at Get It Scrapped. And I think it was, actually I don't know who said it. She had an English accent though. <laughs> so that might narrow it down. Hold on, I'll be right back. Um, anyway, she was saying that the reef, like these are much more expensive compared to the ATG guns, and I was like, oh, that's, I like frugal, so maybe I should check that out. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I don't have enough space in between here, and I'm just looking at the example page. I don't want these... Like, I want the outside margin to be pretty consistent. So that's why, even though it feels like I don't have a lot of space here, I think I'm still going to leave them right here. And let's go ahead and nail these down now. Call it Pick It and Stick It. Just so that... I know there's there are scrapbookers who will arrange their whole layout, I've heard of this, and then take a photo of the layout and then then adhere it like all together. And I just think, wow, that sounds like a lot of work. 
But I also think then you're still second guessing every single decision you've made on that page. Whereas if you can just go ahead and pick it and stick it, you know, stick it down, then um, you're not making those decisions anymore. So that's what I recommend. Okay, next up is she's got three pretty large roses. And I know that I have roses like that in this book that I made. This is, this is, these are all like the little embellishments. So you get the embellishments like this in the package. This is from Crate Paper. And it's 76 ephemera pack, which sounds amazing, awesome, so exciting. But the problem is, is that once all those little bits get out of this package, even if they're in like some kind of a container, like a cute little bowl, I find that it's really hard to find them and then get them onto my page. They end up like in that box that I just showed you. So this is my solution to that. So I'm going to look for three big flowers to start with. And those will be kind of my base. And what, you know, yeah, I'm, why flowers? I don't know. Because cause it was on the, um, cause she, okay, so now I have the flowers. And what I've done with these is I've just put a very small amount of adhesive on the back of that flower. And then I've stuck it in this book that's just paper. So if I change my mind and I didn't want to use that after all, I can stick it right back in. What I have noticed is, yeah, a little sticky does stay on the page, but if you kind of just rub it off, um, I'm, I've used the glue, the dot glue runner. It, it, it's not a big deal. So let's add the these things first. So I'm gonna scrapbook pretty literally. It won't, I'll, there'll be places where we've diverged, but let's start off pretty literal. So she's done three roses. And horses and roses, you know, that kind of makes sense to me. I don't want that there. I like this here. I'm not sure how to kind of incorporate this one over here. So she's got all of her embellishments, it looks like, are sitting on top of the tag. So I guess let's start here. And then what might happen is I'll cut, all right, I'm just noticing with her, uh, with the, let's do it like this. What she's done too is she hasn't gone all the way to the edge of the page, except down here she has. There is one, I think this is going to need just a little bit more adhesive. Um, but what I want to do is while I'm overlapping these tags, I probably don't, didn't want to go as far over as I initially thought. Okay, now we get the little... And that just, to me, looks too much like a flying rose, so I don't really like that one. Um, let's... I like this one that's... It looks like a wild rose. What I don't sort of like about that is that the other two have um, leaves and this one doesn't, so let's just see if we can kind of add. Something underneath it, even though this is a flower, it kind of looks like leaves if you do it. I do it this way. Blah. Okay, I'm not super totally happy with that, but I, I'm not also not, also think it's maybe okay. Hmm. This is 
the weirdest little <laughs> weirdest little thing. I kind of thinking if I do this, but then it kind of looks like it's upside down. Let me just see if I can cut off the leaves and then snuggle them in some other way. Yeah, like this. So that way my rose doesn't look upside down. And I can kind of manipulate the leaves the way I want them to look instead of the way they came out or the way they were placed. There we go. And I almost want to just go ahead and cut this off right now. So what I like to do is turn it over and then cut it from the back. Alright, I'm better with that. I still think it looks slightly awkward, but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. Okay, so I got, got my roses. She's even got some more roses here in the middle. Hmm, but I think I'm going to skip that. The next big thing I want to look at is in each of these, she's got a like a label, label stickers. So I think I have my label stickers. I have some of them over here in the Rascog cart. So they didn't make it into that other part there. Oh, I also have, I have these too. These are more tags. But those are not tags, but they're like cut aparts from um, different pattern papers. Okay. Now I'm finding all of the little littler tags. Okay. This is what I was talking about. I think you can do. Is that too big? Almost feels like it is. Yeah, I was just, I was gonna see about kind of putting something underneath the tag, but she hasn't done that, and I I'm trying to stick. With that pretty well. US us. It's possible. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see if there's anything in here that grabs me. What a day, which it totally was. What a day. If I do this, then I'm going to need to have, well, there is a little bit of yellow actually in that photo. So when I add things, I'm going to try to add them in threes. And I haven't adhered those down, so I'm gonna kind of going to break my own rule a little bit. Here's some more flowers. Nope, 
too much. So I'm trying to do the bigger things first. And then go smaller. And so I know I just said pick it and stick it, but then you can, with the adhesive the way it is, you can still pick it back up and, you know, mess around with it some. There's no law against that. But I like to stick it down just so that I'm not still making that, like, continuing to make that decision. I don't think I want both of these. I can get a different thing that's yellow. Maybe that these flowers. Another little tag. That's this is the little things, which is not really. This seems like a big thing. I like this love. Okay. I'm gonna get that in there. So I'm playing a little bit just to make sure everything's, I like the way things look. And right at this point, I'm kind of okay with how everything looks. Puppy things, that's kind of cool. It's big though. Leave a, like makes a little yellow banner there. I like that. The, this is obviously like transparencies.
Okay, let's get this stuff nailed down. And so I'm just trying to work um, so, like the biggest and then smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay, so next. Let's see what's next. Uh, let's pull some sticker. I have some stickers that are just on the top of my Rascal cart. And I'm just going to pull those. They're just all kind of loose. And see what see what fits. Okay. So this kind of thing, I kind of think I can put On maybe maybe even on the photos. I think I might like that, but I'm gonna maybe put those on after a little bit. See what we can add. Not that. <laughs> Just kind of. Okay, here's a number two because it was just the two of us. So I like that idea. So let's maybe. Maybe down here. I think I like that down there. So I'm trying to make it look like it's all kind of tucked in and random. <laughs> Oh, I already have hello. There's a lot of hellos out there. Okay, this is such a great day. What a day. Such a great day. Yeah, that seems a little redundant. But it really was. Like, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, it's so amazing. It really was. I don't think I like how that fits in there though. So let's keep looking. Okay, I am going to put this location here somewhere because that was one of the things people, I put these on Instagram and people kept saying, where is that? <laughs> so. I, this will say where. Oh, I don't want that right there. Doing my best to make this look random. <laughs> Maybe that will stay and I'll just move this a little bit. That might be easier. So I'm really trying to add things like in threes, just so that it kind of makes sense.
So this is so lucky. I did feel so lucky to do this. Sometimes when I think too much, I just don't talk. Sorry about that. <laughs> trying to squeeze all this in in a visually a pleasing way. Pleasing way. Or a pleasing, you know, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I have enough of this layer. Oh, maybe this. So much love. It's a little awkward, but oh well. Okay. So I think I'm good on that. And then now we just want to go to the next layer. Oops. So we do have like these horses. Seems like pretty appropriate. Whoops. And I think I'm just gonna do one of these flare thingies. And one that kind of shies away from oh here's some more chipboard. I should have um I should have put that in my little book. Okay, let's add the chipboard flowers. And yeah, I know that becomes, you know, it goes from <laughs> from uh, three flowers to four flowers. And why do I need flowers on this if it's not even about... Okay, here's the question. This. Do I leave it or take it off? Do I leave it or take it off? Let's take it off. Let's not do that. But these should go into that book with, um, you know, that I showed you before with the chipboard. All right. Simply delightful. That would be good there too. 
but I'm not going to do that. Alright, then I also have, I got these kind of things, that's going to be too much, but that's another little option there. We're going to nix that option. Okay. I feel like I definitely don't have as much hoo-ha <laughs> on my tags as she does in the example. Hold on. And I will admit, I am an under, you know, as far as things go these days, I would consider myself like an under, I don't embellish as much as, you know, you might see on, in the online scrapbook stuff. I, I really have to work at getting it all on there. Okay. But I like the look of it, so I guess I would just say if you um, are like me and you like the look of a lot, you know, like highly embellished things, but then you don't really do it, just make yourself try every once in a while. Just like push yourself to do it and maybe it won't be comfortable, but it will, it'll come. Okay, this is you and me. And this was just a day for just the two of us. So this you and me is a little bit too thick so or tall. So I'm going to see if I have another one. And that's kind of the beauty of this little book is I can look and see, now do I have another thing that says you and me? Because I, you know, chances are, I don't see one though. I like this. This makes me happy. This made me insanely happy. <laughs> okay, so I am going to save this little spot here to write about what we were doing. But then, I almost think that, I want to put this on there, and then I don't, and then I do, and then I don't. This wasn't in the sketch, this little bit over here, but I like this idea of you and me there. And I really do want to include that this makes me happy, because it does. <laughs> yeah, let's see. And I did put one horse on here, but I don't want to go too, like, horse crazy, just because um, there are horses in the pictures, and... Happy trails. Yeah, I really tempted to put something on this photo, but I think I'm not going to. And I still haven't done the bit across the middle. But I was pretty excited to show you how this is working out. The other thing that I want to use that I haven't used is I kind of think I'm good on how much that's embellished at this point. I think I could go further, but I'm not going to. I'm going to maybe stop. As far as, yeah. Oops. I do like this idea of the dream right there. Do we need that middle bit? That is a question. 
Let's just see how it would look with the metal bit. I know, I'm going to put something here. I might put the date there. Because I actually think I know the date. Which a lot of times when I'm making these, I don't know the date. I don't feel like I really don't have enough space in the middle there. Let me try another couple options. Let's try like some kind of washi. Not that. <laughs> I'm not really sure I want to try to get a title on the in the middle there, like in the example. But this washi incorporates all those colors. I like that idea. Just trying to make sure it looks straight. I think it looks pretty straight. You know, and there's some things that you're just like, I really want to get this on the page. Yeah, these these stickers just seem like I really want to get these on the page. And so I'm leaving myself no room for journaling, which I want to kind of chastise myself a little bit for, but also... How's that? That doesn't look good, does it? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it sort of does. I'm on the fence. Um, but I also think that I have... I'll probably scrapbook a lot of these. So not every one of them has to be a journaling page. How do I like that? This kind of just feels like a fun page. Yeah, I do want to have, if I put these two, then I almost want to put one more of these scripty titles. I don't even think you can really see it that well. That and that. But I feel like Maybe I am overthinking. I think um, sometimes I think wine should be a scrapbooking supply so that you can stop kind of overthinking about like well where should I put this and where should I put this if you just like drink a little wine first you don't really drink wine very often anymore um, but I think if you did it might help you scrapbook it might have you, help you have more fun and um also, scrapbook faster. Okay. So I did have a fun spot for the location. Um, there it is. I don't have the date anywhere, which I was going to do. And I do have an idea for that. I also want to put childhood dream here. Let's see if I have a sticker that says childhood. I don't think I do, but it's possible. I have some word stickers. I have a bunch of things. 
I don't think it's going to be there. That's all wedding stuff, and so is that. Wow. This one even has another horse, but I don't, like I said, I don't want to go crazy on the horses, even though I am crazy about horses. Okay. I almost think I'm going to call this done. Don't worry, I mean, I'm not, hold on, I'm not overly concerned about no um, journaling on this page just because I know I'm going to, I have a bunch of those photos and I just, that was so much fun that I'm going to want to scrapbook it again and again. So the story will be able to be told. Let's get out some, yeah, did you even know I had these? Because yeah, I know I never use them. All of the little date stamps. So let's try to get some date stamps on here somewhere because I think I know the date. But I have to look it up first. I'll be right back. It was July 24th, 2015. So I think I'm going to document, I'm going to put the date here a couple of times, like they do. Because I also love that look, and I have, as you can see, a gazillion. I don't want anything over here. I don't know if you can just not have anything, but I think I just won't ink it is what I'll do. So it's July. Twenty. And I'm going to test it out first. And I need an ink pad. I don't have handy. That could prove it. The <laughs> could be a good reason why I don't do a lot of stamping. So I'm just walking around to the other side of my desk where I have my ink pads in a drawer. And I'll just take one out here. This is in black, and we'll just test it out. So I don't want to get this down. Yeah, I am not really a stamper. Not usually my thing. All right. That's okay. I always really like how that looks. I don't know why I don't do that more often. So I picked these up. Well, I, you know, I've had some of them for a long time. Like this one only goes to, it's from 2000. <laughs> oh, it's even got the 19s in it. <laughs> 1998 to 2009. Um, but yeah, I do have stamps. Maybe I should keep this with all these things so that they're handy. That might make me more apt to use it. So are we done? I don't know. Um, I think I have a couple more things I want to add. So I just want to write childhood dream. Is that going to be too weird? I think it is. With the black. I have small letter stickers that are in white that I don't think will be too big there. I'm going to use the lower case actually. I guess I should start with the end. Start with the end in mind. Oops. So yeah, it's like two and a half more weeks of summer. So we have a little bucket list going. We're gonna go to Comic Con, we're gonna go to Bush Gardens, we're gonna go to 
Blizzard Beach or Typhoon Lagoon, which are Disney water parks. We're going to go to bowling again. That's been a big hit this summer, bowling. <laughs> Hold on, this T came off of this other letter sticker sheet. And we made a whole list of like things we want to do before the summer's over, you know. Because it goes really fast. So you gotta like document it. <laughs> so you're like, it really happened. But tomorrow I'm gonna go to the eye doctor. I've been doing all sorts of those kinds of, you know, dentist, doctor, eye doctor, all those boring kind of appointments, my hair, that's, I got it, I made it darker, which I think it looks better. And when she initially did it, she put a big streak in the front of it. And I had her take that out because that was, it looked crazy. <laughs> my husband liked it, but I was like, I do not know, I cannot cannot live with this. Um, so now it, it's just a little, it's like very dark blonde, which is more like my, nat like what my natural color is. And, and we might go camping, which would be so fun. I hope we do. I really hope we do. And it, it was so cool because I didn't even bring it up. My husband brought it up. He doesn't, he's not really into camping. But I always, I mean, my dad, when I was growing up, always wanted to go camping. And I did go with him and it was fun, but, you know, I did it kind of when I was her age, not really when I was an older teenager. It's not something like we continued to do, you know. But it was, I did it with boyfriends <laughs> over the years. But I do like camping. But I like there to be a, you know, a man in charge of it. So I don't have to be worried about all the technical aspects of, um, of what you gotta do. Just seeing if there's. Some little hearts. This is Allison Kraft Hello World. Which I think that transparency was also Allison Kraft. I think I'm done. This was the coolest thing. Okay. So the way that I deviated from the sketch is I did not put a title across here, which is what what she's got going on. Um, yeah, so for the original, for the page that I based this on, you can either look on Pinterest at my scrap liftable um, board, or you can go to Coco Daisy, and I think um, this is one of the design team members made a page that looked a lot like this. Very much like this, actually. But hers is on a white background. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.